You're watching Reality Check. They say the sign of a perfectly negotiated settlement is when both parties claim victory at the end of the deal. And that appears to have been the case with the verdict of the Supreme Court today when they finally weighed in on the battle between the Aam Aadmi Party and between the center or between the lieutenant governor about whose powers are supreme. Now, we're just going to run you through the arguments being used by both sides to claim why they believe this is a victory for them. And then we'll try and dissect the entire verdict and its implications, not just for New Delhi, but beyond in the next 30 minutes. So here first is why the Aam Aadmi Party is claiming victory. They're saying that the statements made by the judges in their order, and this is a 530-page order, largely puts them ahead when it comes to the battle for Delhi. So let's just scroll back and just run you through each of those big pointers from the verdict why the Aam Aadmi Party claims victory. Real power, the verdict says, must lie with the elected government. No independent power with the lieutenant governor. Convey decisions to the lieutenant governor, it tells the state government, but you do not need his concurrence. And as far as referring to the president is concerned, which is what the lieutenant governor can do if he doesn't agree with the decision of the state government, it says that is only in an exceptional case. Now, if one looks at it from the point of view of the high court order, which had actually weighed against the AAP, then could it be seen that the Supreme Court has reversed the High Court ruling? That's at least what the AAP would like to believe. The High Court has said that the LG was an administrative head. It said that the LG is not bound to act on the advice of the Delhi government. The High Court said that all decisions must be communicated to the LG for his approval. And of course, now the Supreme Court seems to be saying something else. But the centre says they're not concerned. Why? Because land, police and public order continue to remain with the centre when it comes to Delhi. The court has clearly said that Delhi is not a state, which is something that AAP has been fighting for. And of course, that the lieutenant governor can continue to refer his disagreements to the president. So this is why it is being seen as somewhat of a nuanced order. The court has actually cautioned both sides. It says there's no room for absolutism, perhaps referring to the LG, and there's also no room for anarchy, perhaps referring to AAP. It also says that they must work in a spirit of harmony and not obstructionism, and must settle their differences via dialogue. All right, so that's the verdict from the court. But in the court of public opinion, that's being fiercely contested. I'm joined uh, by Ejaz Elmi, leader of the BJP. He's been watching this the whole day. Now, Ejaz Elmi, is this a bit of sour grapes by the BJP to try and say that actually we won this verdict? When if you see the majority language of the verdict, the spirit of the verdict is very much putting the LG in its place. Vasu, well, so, uh, we are all entitled to our opinions as political parties, as individuals, right. but the uh, the 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 rise of Ithre, the fact is that the constitutional supremacy yeah. and was what was clearly laid down over the years since 1991 about 239 uh, AA, it's been uh, it is it is a reiteration what the Supreme Court has done is a reiteration a clear separation that the center has complete supremacy in land police and law and order and everything else which comes which has to be done by the state government in terms of basic amenities and other uh, departments that they have. It's their responsibility because they are the elected government answerable to the people and the, the people of Delhi have voted. So it's very clear, that the clear separation. Obviously, claiming victory, I think it's the victory of the constitution, largely the constitutional position, the constitutional yes. obligation, and the fact that it, it, uh, it tells us a clear path that you okay, can, that's despite, despite, right. uh, despite dharna, despite hmm. acrimony, despite hmm. mistrust, there is a way forward, dialogue, uh, this course is the only way forward. But uh, Raghav Chadha of uh, Aam Aadmi Party joining me on the show tonight. Thanks very much indeed for being here. So is Udit Raj. He's a Lok Sabha MP from Delhi. And uh, Aarti Jared, of course, senior journalist, is here. Always a pleasure to have her. And uh, also Aman Pawar, spokesperson of the Delhi Congress, joining us as well. Raghav Chadha, you will not see this, though, in any way as a nuanced verdict, is it? The AAP continues to insist that this is a victory for you. Even though as the BJP continues to say that the power of the 
L g remains intact. Well, I think a, a kind of bare perusal of this 535 page judgment leaves no doubt in my mind that government of Delhi has been restored. I think all the powers, all the subjects of administration that Ms. Mm. Sheila Dixit's regime had for, uh, for 15 long years have now been given finally uh, uh, to the Aam Admi Party government. We enjoyed these powers, we enjoyed these subjects of administration even in the 49 day government. But after we came back in the month of February 2015, mm. uh, these powers were uh, systematically snatched from us. Right. You will remember that there was a notification issued by the Ministry of Home Affairs in the month of May 2015, yes. whereby they snatched the services department, the department responsible for the transfer and posting and allocation of work uh, to the okay, bureaucrats so saying... from the Delhi government and gave that power to the LG as well as the anti-corruption branch which is critical for fighting corruption in Delhi that was also snatched away from but us that and given not to come the back to government you. and so was the vigilance department subsequently. But Raghav, anti-corruption branch no, has not so come back to you. I, may I just make... And neither so has services according to yeah. uh, so Ajaz. The, well, Mr. Mr. Well, the spokesperson of the BJP have essentially discarded this judgment. I saw a press conference by a leading spokesperson of the BJP. He was saying things which which are not in the judgment, and I'm 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 guessing that is a clear no, but, contempt. Well, that's, no, of, no, but at of the, the no, no, but at the same time, time the out here. but the fact is the fact is no, but at the same time, yeah, anti-corruption branch is, that is not Supreme with you. Court has very clearly not said, with you. No, no. May I just Vasu, so then how is Vasu, this actually helping you? Vasu, I have an issue. May I just may I respond? I'll respond. Raghav, Raghav, Raghav. One second, okay. Let, let, no, no, Raghav, it's very clear. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Let Raghav respond. I don't want to get into a, into a snafu with you, into a ranking match with you. I don't want to get into that match with you. Let's respect the verdict and the constitutional obligation. Okay, let him respond. Let Raghav respond. Raghav respond. Is that question not As it is, there are three, four spokespersons of the BJP on the show. Permit me to respond, Mr. Elmi. Please do. Yes, yes. Go ahead, Raghav. Now, if you look at the judgment of the Supreme Court, the judgment very clearly says that barring three subjects, that is the uh, police, yes. land and yes. public order, all the subjects that are there in the state list and that are there in the concurrent list are under the administration of the elected government, not under the administration of the left okay. govern uh, gov okay. you governor responded. or the union government. Okay. That you means responded. that all the subjects, whether it's services, anti-corruption branch, home, vigilance, education, health, sanitation, all these subjects are fairly and squarely within the ambit of the democratically ah, elected government of Mr. Interesting. You're saying Anybody ACB, who has any doubt in this manner can certainly move the Supreme Court to seek a clarification. Okay, you're saying lastly, ACB, you're interpreting this to mean even ACB is under you. Channel. Udit Raj, okay, Raghav, let me move on. Absolutely. Let me, okay, Absolutely. let me move on. Udit Raj, BJP, Sa Grapes, Supreme Court saying real power must lie with elected government, no independent power with LG. Convey decisions to LG but no concurrence, only refer to President in exceptional case. Before I come to Udit Raj, we have to go across now for a big exclusive to Puducherry. Because remember, this verdict is being seen as having a national impact. Other states where chief ministers are fighting governors or lieutenant governors also are seeing this as a vindication and one of those states is Puducherry where the chief minister joins us exclusively on the show tonight, Mr. Narayan Swamy. He's been waging a running war with Kiran Bedi. Now, Mr. Narayan Swamy, what do you, how do you read this verdict? You see this as helping you in your fight with Kiran a, Bedi or as the BJP is saying, this doesn't no, change no, anything is, on the it, ground? No, no, it is, it is a historic judgment. Flash, 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 the, flash. the democracy has been upheld by the Supreme Court judgment. In fact, the, 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 for the last two years, I've been telling whatever the Supreme Court said today, that the, the Lieutenant Governor has to act on the aid and advice of the Council of Ministers. And the Lieutenant Governor has no independent power to decide on any subject as far as the state is concerned. Our Land, law and order, services, finance is with the state government. Right. Then, then the cabinet decision is binding on, on the lieutenant governor. And she, they are referring the matter to the government of India, trivial matter she should not send. Whatever I wrote to Dr. Kiran Bedi, yes. that you have no independent power. Yes. You cannot call officers meeting in Rajpan without consulting the ministers. Hmm. 
going to the field visit, you know, independent power to order, all these things have been upheld by the Supreme Court. So you think that now the things will change in Puducherry? You think because of this verdict, you believe uh, Kiran Bedi uh, will, in your view, I mean, this is your view, will, will not be able to interfere this much? No, but it is not only my view. When there is a Supreme Court gives a finding mm. on constitutional frame of things, yes. it ab applies to all the states. It is not only Delhi. Now the constitution is very clear. But, the, but the, the, Because the will of the people, the elected government always prevails. But the BJP is saying, sir, that this changes nothing. In fact, forget BJP. Center is saying this changes nothing on the ground. LG is still supreme. He or she still has the power to veto. They still have the power to refer to president. The BJP always, uh, always they give bundle of rice. Mm. And you know, if something comes in their favor, they will praise the Supreme Court like anything. When it goes against them, they will appeal the Supreme Court. You know their nature. Because they wanted to usurp the powers of everything. That is the government of India. The, all these things why I complained to Honorable Prime Minister in the Chief Minister's conference. Right. When we had 15 days back. I said she, she has to act on the aid and advice of the council. Okay, minister. you are saying this She way. has no independent power. No action was taken. You are saying, you're saying that BJP will try to, is, is keen to you, sir, but you believe that this will not be the case. Do stay on with us. Udit Raj, now let me come to you. We have the Chief Minister himself of Puducherry saying this is a problem of the BJP in state after state. You are trying to usurp power against the constitution I, of Raj. I, and now I, I this order has me. put you in its place. I differ from... I differ what he is stating. What has happened is that because of a controversy created by Amadmi party, mm. number of discrepancies were crept, have risen, and as right. a result, matter went to High Court, and of course, after that, went to larger bench of Supreme Court. Today, the Supreme Court has defined the boundary of the government, state government, and of course, LG. And now, I will solicit, rather, I'll advise the uh, government of the day, headed by my friend Mr. Kejriwal, that they should concentrate on the work. And no, the but now, will you also the advise, boundary. Will you has also been advise what? No, no. But will you also advise the lieutenant governors of Delhi and Puducherry to also let these governments work? See, what happened that uh, still the Supreme no, no. Will Court you, has... No, no, I'm asking a very Supreme simple Court yes or no question. Will you advise them also Supreme, to let, this governor, Supreme, gov uh, let these no, governments no. work? Yes or no, sir? No. This is not the question to be asked because where the governor is not allowing them to be. And they, they in they, fact, that they is the governor elected is not government. allowing, that's why they went to court. The government must uh, perform that, its duties. The governor is not allowing, that's why they went to court. No, and now court has said that they should be allowed. Now, now, the, now, 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 the, now, now the boundary of the governor and state is defined. And now let them work let them in Sharan. a harmonious way and for the well-being and for the development, for the development of the new government. And Sharan, what do you, what you make of the, the verdict? party has stated today. Okay, sir, I understood. Is Let me, I the, need to move the on. The power of LG Okay, is, yeah, is I need intact. to move on. Uh, Amrinda Sharan, what do you make of it? Do you think that in balance, the, the Aam Aadmi party has reasons to feel satisfied today? I think so. I think so, because the judgment is clear, unambiguous and explicit that except for the three subjects which are reserved for the central government, in the rest of the matters, the ad advice of the cabinet is binding on the lieutenant governor. And lieutenant governor cannot exercise powers independently. At least I have, Therefore, at least I have not, the verdict is at, last, at least I have not seen this part of the judgment 
No, no. That right. only in the matter of concurrent no, leave. No, 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 uh, legislature of Delhi mm. because legislative power and the executive power are both coextensive. Right. So whatever they can do legislatively, they can also do administratively. Mm. So therefore, the law has been now clearly ex and explicitly decided by the Supreme Court right. that the cabinet's de decision will be binding on the Lieutenant Governor. Therefore, I think the Ahmadi Party has reasons to be happy. Right. Okay, fair enough. And in they fact, should now the, start governing. Start governing. I'll come to that in just yeah. a second. But Aarti, right, the court actually goes beyond just Delhi and LG versus AAP in Justice Chandrachud's separate order. He actually talks about secularism. Let's put up that graphic on screen. This was interesting. In the wider framework of what he calls constitutional morality, what are the pillars of the constitution? He says secularism is important. The basic structure can't be overridden by the power of legislative majorities, can be enhanced by secularism. Constitution's basic structure of warning to a fledgling democracy of the perils of brute majoritarianism. Secularism is based on the foundations of constitutional morality and reflects the idea of our democracy. This is, seems to be signaling at something else here. No, absolutely. It's a very uh, significant uh, you know, sort of, these are very significant mm. remarks by uh, Justice Chandrachut. And, uh, you know, I think he's uh, taking a kind of larger view of what is happening in the country. Yeah. Uh, you know, all these lynchings that have taken place, the kind of, uh, you know, majoritarian, uh, you know, violence that mm. we have seen, you know, in state after state. And I think he's, uh, you know, sort of, uh, you Is know, it a direct signal to the government of the day. Absolutely, uh, to the government of the day and this vigilante justice, mm. which we see, you know, blooming everywhere. Right. And I think it's a, it's a direct warning to all governments that secularism is written into our constitution, Ajaz, would you and you have to uphold that. Ajaz, this is then. How would you see this? I mean, this is a court which is coming out, pushing back the centre when it comes to powers of LG overreach, and even. A lesson here on secularism. I mean, this has not been a good day for you in court. No, you uh, what, uh, why is it not a good day? If the if the if the Justice Chandrachud is expressing something which is inherently that the one of the foundations okay. of this country is about equality, fraternity, and secularism, and and equal opportunities for everybody. So where's the problem with that? Okay. So, uh, who who is who is arguing with his opinion? I think it's entirely his opinion, and it's a very valid one. Okay. Let me just uh, let me just uh, before I come to you, Aman. I know you've been patiently waiting. I, uh, Raghav Chadda to you and also to Mr. Narayan Swami. Let me start with you, Raghav, that now the argument is that the AAP will have no excuse to say why work is not being done. You can't hide behind the fact that you have an uncooperative LG. You, you see, uh, this question that now there should be no excuses, now there are no uh, shields, uh, uh, you know, uh, yes. uh, uh, for you to to sort of escape from the uh, uh, governance of Delhi is a very tricky question. It has an underlying assumption that previously we were only resorting to uh, excuses and not uh, doing governance, uh, which has which is clearly not the case because the Supreme Court in its judgment very clearly says yes. that the lieutenant governor should uh, get rid of it, uh, get rid of his obstructionist attitude. So therefore, clearly our stand has been vindicated, our satyagraha, our our, our uh, the dharnas, our protests, No more satyagraha on, 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 on statehood, no more satyagraha is asking for DDA, no more satyagraha is asking for police, two, I, these, are subjects, just, these are subjects with the Why does he, why does he pounce on yes, me? Yeah. Can you stop so, verbal heckling me? So no more satyagraha is I hope. No, no, Ajaz, Ajaz, don't, don't, don't heckle. Let me finish, let me finish, let me finish. Secondly, while, yeah, so for, Yes. So, as far as your your comment regarding the excuses, uh, alleged excuses yes. prior to fourth of July, twenty eighteen is concerned, I strongly oppose. I strongly discard that assumption of yours that okay. there was any excuse. I don't think there was any excuses. Okay, I think Raghav. there was governance. And post fourth of July, twenty eighteen. Post fourth of July, twenty eighteen. If the BJP, the union government, and the lieutenant governor right. are not seen to be in contempt of this judgment, 
that is they will follow this judgment okay. in letter in spirit. Fair enough. I don't see any reason why the union government get... or the Delhi government will be at okay, loggerheads. Okay, lastly, fine. Lastly, fair enough. Let me get, let me get Mr. Narayan Swami now. I have very little time. Raghav, I'll no, come back to you. I'll come back to you. I'll come, let me come back to you, Mr. Narayan Swami. The same question to you. That yeah. now it could be turned around and said that you will also have to deliver. Kiran Bedi's argument was, I was only entering areas where the state government was not performing. Now, that cannot be the no, argument no, anymore. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, no, 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 that, that is a, that is a, that is a wrong, wrong impression she is creating. In fact, we wanted to deliver. We wanted to implement the welfare schemes of the, to the people of our state. Right. And right from the implementation of various welfare schemes, hmm. she was putting a block on it. She was returning the files on flimsy grounds, which the Supreme Court has said she has no right to do that. And moreover, we wanted to deliver. We wanted to fulfill the promises to the people. Hmm. I don't have any ego uh, because I, I don't have a, any kind of uh, inhibition. Okay. I want the people's welfare is paramount. And we wanted to implement okay, the, sir, all the schemes enough. for the welfare of the people. Amad Right. Uh, and and she, was, she, was, she was obstructing everything. What is very okay. unfortunate is okay, that sir. at Aman, the very what, instance... No, no, Aman, let me ask you a question though, yeah. that what is interesting here is that you are fighting up here in Delhi and you were on the... You were you did not take sides in this battle between Kejriwal and uh, the Lieutenant Governor. All other opposition parties did. But look at your own Chief Minister there. See, he's, he's, he's welcoming this verdict. No, no, of course. So we are also has the Congress been on the wrong foot no, here? No, no, of course not. In fact, Srinivasan, what we are saying is that we are also welcoming this verdict today. Mm. And, you know, uh, since AAP is claiming victory after this verdict, mm. as you just said, mm. that there should be no reason and they should, they should not find any alibi or any excuse for non-performance. Mm. And had they tried this for, mm. from day one, had there been an established working relationship between the LG and the chief minister, mm. probably this situation would not have arisen. If you will why recall you, in 1998. Why did you come out and why did you come out and support of Mr. Kejriwal when he I was am, sitting on his uh, hunger strike? I am, I'm com I'm, I am giving you the instance of 1998 when Sheila no, no, Dixit was sworn in. There was a BJP the government at the center. Ah, okay. We, ah, we formed a working relationship. There was right. extensive work done with respect to metro, building flyovers. Okay, okay. And, um, uh, you know, converting the CNG oh, wow. fleet and all that. But Masu. why not today? But the, the, okay, the okay, main quick, question okay. that, that Masu, is today is... Okay, the, quickly, quickly. The difference between Sheila Ji and Kejriwal was, Sheila Ji wanted to do work on the domain that she had clear supremacy. Whereas Kejriwal wanted to do Satyagraha, asking, for, for, DDA, asking for, for, for DDA. You're batting for Sheila Dixit. Asking for DDA. He wanted this DDA, he wanted Masu. police. He wanted police. He wanted control of the entire state. This is an interesting kind of, This is our you logic. Know, sub, that, sub, that, sub, I, sub hue hai. You know, I just want to say one thing. I think this debate is going Absolutely. in all directions it's, all it's, over it's the place. Okay, okay. I, I think the Aam Aadmi Party is perfectly within its rights okay. to start a campaign for full statehood for Delhi. Right. And if it wants to do a campaign, why not? Sure. But at the same time, I think it also realizes that, you know, at the moment it has to function within the constitutional pr provisions. Right. And the constitution is very clear that there are three subjects and over which the lieutenant governor has full control. Full control, right. right? What it is saying is that why should the lieutenant governor, for instance, take a decision on whether the AAP wants to deliver rations to doorstep right. of, poor, of the poor right. or not? Why should that go to the lieutenant governor? Fair enough. That's okay. not a, that's not a decision no, no, that the that's lieutenant a, governor that's a, should take. That's a fair summary that, of where, where it stands. Yeah, and Let's I think that that is what the order has made clear today. That, okay. that the Maso, LG I... has to stick to his jurisdiction. Okay. Just like Aam Aadmi Party has to stick to its jurisdiction. Fair enough. Let's get, let's get Mr. Uh, Amrinder Sharan for the last word, uh, Raga, because he's had very little time. So overall, sir, how would you see this now actually play out? Because the court has not actually given directions. They've simply set out broadly their interpretation of the division of powers. So how will this actually play out in a practical sense? The constitution bench just decides the constitutional issue and the matter will now go back to the division bench okay. where the case is pending and there the proper directions will be passed. Okay, fair enough. In accordance also, may with I very briefly just give me permit bench. me 15 seconds. Okay. Fair enough. Literally 15 seconds. Is that Raghav? 15 yes. seconds. Yes. Literally 15 seconds. Okay, go. On the aspect of full statehood, very briefly, 
the aspect of full statehood was never before the Supreme Court's constitutional bench as far as this judgment is concerned. Yep. It can only be given by a constitutional amendment yep. passed by the parliament for which we will continue for our which your MPs have Number never two, as far as okay, the okay, Congress stand is concerned, I will just read out what okay, the no, 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 they're going over 15 seconds. Chidambaram has just put out. <laughs> why why are they going over 15 seconds? Better want to supply better electricity. Okay, I have to give I have to give the last 10 seconds to Mr. Narayan Swami. He is the sitting chief minister. Mr. Raghav, if you will permit me. Yes, sir, please. Mr. Narayan Swami, you wanted to come in, but we yeah. have very little time. Ten seconds, sir. Yeah, yeah. As far as I am concerned, the, uh, under the Constitution of India, the Union Territories Act 1963, Rules of Business 1963, right. the powers of the, the administrator, the lieutenant governor, powers of the council of ministers, okay. and also the, uh, the executive, legislature, all defined. Okay, but, sir. but uh, uh, the Madam Lieutenant Governor tried to encroach into our powers, okay. therefore dispute arose. Okay. So now you are saying that hopefully we will see less I of that, but let everybody, show. I suppose, just get back to work. Yeah. I think in a way yeah, that yeah. was the big yeah, yeah. sort of message from the Supreme Court. Thank you all so much for joining yeah. us tonight. That's it on Reality Check. Thanks for watching. Good night.